As the dot-com bubble burst, entrepreneurs and poker hustlers helped to drive a new boom in online poker. The game took flight with a World Series champion, but they had larger goals. Why would they be cheating when they're making so much money in rank? You see a player playing 60-70% of your hands and you just have to hop in that game. Patrick Antonius had lost $500,000 and he looked over me and said, Brad, I am never playing on that site again. A labyrinth of corporate entities drove a large valuation before the coming storm. The president signed the Unlawful Internet Gambling Enforcement Act on Friday, a piece of legislation Congress quietly attached to a bill on port security. In a shifting legal environment, players learned they had been cheated. And we all just started pooling our information together and looking at these accounts and saying there's something not right about this. The chance of this being legitimate was about one followed by 32 zeros. So one in, I don't even know the word for that number that's so big. The site had technology to identify cheaters. IE Snare, and, and IE Snare is, you know, what have caught this stuff early on. We associate problems to the specific computers used to perpetrate abuse so that fraudsters can't simply hide behind new accounts. And that it looked like to us that the solvent bet cheating scandal was going to be quite big. As we kept putting all the information out, Ultimate Bet, you know, through the months when they actually started releasing statements, they, they kept just regurgitating the information we kept putting out. Players identified issues allowing Ultimate Bet to refund less. I'm sure a lot of the money that was put back in these accounts was never claimed. And then if it's in their terms of service that after six months they can take the money back, confiscate it or whatever they do, uh, I'm sure that was not an accident. $24,000 roughly uh, refund on that account that was processed in the initial refund, but because the account was closed, you couldn't access it. Many stories of people that claim to have lost six, seven figures on all of that uh, during the cheating time frame and gotten no refund back. The Ganawaki Gaming Commission allowed principals to perform an internal audit. Pay out the largest amounts to the biggest named players. What's the minimum they could get, get away with giving back to the players? The fact that we even asked the question of were players properly refunded shows that there needs to be a complete and proper in, independent investigation. Phil Helmuth is one of the game's highest profile players and he helped found IE Logic, the parent company behind Ultimate Bet. I think that that's a very good question there as to, to exactly how, how much ownership he had and how much he knew of the going on and, and I don't think those questions have been answered. Players have trust in people like Phil Helmuth and Annie Duke and that trust meant that they lost their money and I think Annie Duke and Phil Helmuth have a lot to answer to. One founder, Russ Hamilton, did his portion. Are you in any way associated with the ultimatebet.net super user cheating scandal? Carrying blame for the whole team in a complex and evolving case. The film reveals a large group enabling, assisting, or otherwise failing to prevent customers from being looted. See how Ultimate Bet founders expect to earn hundreds of millions of dollars in the next wave of legalized poker.